Hi guys, we're doing this again. I hope you like it on video instead of um, an email. So if you don't, tell me and we can change it up a little every week. But this week we're doing Esther again, part two. Mike's talking about Esther. Um, we, since we only have one video for this, we are going to show in the large group time the altitude lesson, lesson four. Um, on standing up for what is right, Jesus cleanses the temple, Matthew 21, 12 through 17. So we are going to have this video loaded and ready to go. So um, that's just a different a story on standing up for right. Um, the one about Jesus clearing out the temple of the people who were trying to sell things at the temple and cheat people. So Jesus standing up for what is right. Um, I would encourage you this week to be reading in Esther, read the passages in Esther. And then I also in your small group would encourage you to look, um, find, help your kids find Esther in the Bible and then read some key passages on how Esther and Haman, uh, I mean Mordecai, stand up for what is right, not Haman. He's the bad guy. So um, I would encourage you to do that in your small group. I don't think that we're going to show the skip part of this lesson four in order to give you a little more small group time this week. It's kind of a good lesson to have more time in your small group, and I have some cool activities for you to do during your small group time. So our large group, we're showing lesson four, the Altitude series, um, Jesus Cleanses the Temple, and that's going to be in our large group time. And probably in large group I'll make reference to um, Esther and how Esther again stood up for what was right not only Esther but like I said Mordecai so be reading in Esther this week and uh, be able to just share with your kids the importance of standing up for right what is right Esther and Mordecai all right for our applications we have um, a great the safe acrostics I really love this lesson when we taught it so I'm glad we're getting to teach it again be Safe talks about how kids can deal with bullying, so it get, has that acrostics to stop, um, find authority, tell, tell someone who's in authority, uh, befriend the person who's being bullied, and then help the person evade the bully. So just a great practical example to help kids deal with bullying at school. I also put on here, don't forget to pray. And in your small groups, that's just an important thing that you get to do with your small group too. So remember to ask for prayer requests and to be praying with your small group. What a great blessing that is to your kids. Um, also remind them to be praying for those people who they need to, um, the Lord needs to show them who to stand up for and who to help in those situations. So this will be an application activity. It's just got each of the things that you can talk about how to deal with bullying for your kiddos. Also, we have the stand-up application, and it has the different cards um, that you can read over with your kids to talk about um, standing up for what is right. So just different application activities to do. Our verse this week is going to be Isaiah 1, 17, learn to do good, seek justice, and help the oppressed. So make sure you can maybe go over that with your kids. We're going to have this um, handout for each kid, and then on the back it has verses also that you could, if you have time, to go over and look up. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Isaiah 1, 17, Psalm 76, 9, and 1 Corinthians 13, 7. So look those up with your kiddos too. Um, lots of stuff to look up in your Bible and talk about and praying. So I wanted to make sure you'll have enough time in your small group this week. All right. Hope you're having a good week and excited for this lesson that we get to teach about kids standing up for what is right. Excited that we get to do Esther two weeks in a row. And just this little going back to the altitude lesson was just a perfect fit for doing Esther for two weeks in a row. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Um, hope you all are having a great week. And thank you all for listening. All right. Bye.